This is a set of three elephant figurines made in the late Victorian era, sometime between 1890 and the early 1900s. Their bodies are made of carved ebony, and details such as the eyes, tusks, and toenails are made of ivory. The elephants come from the collection of Elizabeth Bonham, who bequeathed her home and possessions to the Historical Society after her death in 1965. Elizabeth, or Bessie, Bonham, was born in York in 1872. During her life, she was a financially and spiritually independent woman who loved to travel and collect souvenirs from her journeys. One of her greatest trips was in 1912, when Elizabeth boarded the SS Cleveland to embark on a trip around the world as a member of the Girdlers. A souvenir hand fan from her trip displays a painted map of her journey outlining the route of the ship. The red trail shows stops at major cities across North America, Europe, Northern Africa, and Asia. While it is unknown exactly where or when Elizabeth Bonham acquired these small statues, they most likely came from India, Sri Lanka, or Eastern Africa. Ebony is native to these areas, and the heartwood of these species is the darkest and most sought after. Additionally, the ivory used for these carvings were likely taken from Asian or African elephant tusks. Both ebony and ivory have many desirable qualities that have made them popular materials for creating decorative objects for hundreds of years. Ebony is a dense, finely textured hardwood that appears almost black in color. Its beautiful color, longevity, and smooth mirror-like appearance when polished make it one of the most prized types of wood in the world. Ivory has similarly been valued for its fine grains, smooth texture, and attractive color. It is a hard white material that is taken from the tusks and teeth of animals. While most ivory comes from elephant tusks, alternative sources of ivory come from warthog, walrus, and narwhal tusks, and even hippopotamus teeth. When determining proper care for these objects, an important common characteristics of ebony and ivory to note is that they are both hygroscopic. This means that they absorb moisture from the air and changes in temperature and humidity can cause these organic materials to swell and shrink, which leads to cracking and warping. While these objects are still beautiful, unfortunately, they have not been immune to the effects of the environment during their 100 year lifespan. Upon taking a closer look, there is visible evidence of environmental damage from the cracks in the body and the cracks and yellowing in the ivory tusks. Our goal as custodians of these objects is to protect these objects from further damage. In order to do that, they should be kept in a sealed environment to buffer against changes in temperature and relative humidity. For these elephant statues, we have specially sized polyethylene bags that seal at the top. Enclosing them in these bags also prevents them from accumulating dust and dirt. They will then be placed in an archival box that is padded with chemically stable foam to prevent bumping and chipping, and then the box will be stored in an environmentally controlled area. Now the beauty of these unique statues can be preserved for people to appreciate for years to come. <music>